Hey everybody, Steve here, the retired hobby tech guy, American expat in Korea. And what we ended up doing earlier, I installed the R3 graphite bed for my Creality K2 Plus, which is really nice. I went from a 0.96 as far as the bed mesh down to a 0.22 or 0.23. Uh, still need to dial that in a little bit more to get uh, some superior results. So with that, the next thing that comes into play is the PEI plate and the guide in the back so that you don't overshoot your bed and it lines up perfectly. And we'll take a look and show you what I'm talking about. We'll print those out and then we'll see which ones work and what my two cents is on. Uh, there was a couple of links that were provided for these guides. And one of them that we end up seeing here is on Creality Cloud. This is Stranula. Uh, these are the models that we're looking at right here, the little snap-on ones. And we can take a look at that. So it's a quick little GIF. I wish the camera work was a little bit better, but you can see how he kind of slides that in there. And then the back pops on as he pulls it towards you. And then the other one was a different guy, which is Shadow 6, and what he ended up doing was these here, which are just a little snap onto the corners. Yeah, just a little helpful tip. Don't leave your action camera inside of the area where the bed can hit the camera and mess up your print. Yeah, it's kind of a thing. Don't forget this. If you're going to do some filming on the inside, take this out before you do your print. Yeah, okay, let's look, drive on. And the K2 Plus is printing these things out in record time. With that, we're going to start taking off the supports of the corner piece that just snaps right on top of the corner pieces. And then it's a little bit more involved when we get to the one that has the clips. Uh, maybe I should have used some different supports, but it works. Uh, the first one, what we're going to end up doing is going to the corners. That just sets on top and we push it down and those go on pretty easily. But even with that, I would have noticed that one of the sides was higher up than the other one, and it just wouldn't seat properly. Now, the next guide is more involved because you have a little of finagling to do. Now, it's a little tricky to put this in. You're going to have to angle it down, as we see right here, and then kind of move it forward, and then angle it up, and it should snap into place. And then you pull the whole guide toward you, till eventually that other clip snaps into place. Now, with that being said, it works pretty good, but I did have to trim the clips and the edges of these with the X-Acto knife to be able to get it. I went through three sets of these until I was successful. Okay, so what we ended up doing is printing this right here from Shadow 6. That was the little snap onto the corner thing. And it's got a little bit of a bend in here, and that little bend gives resistance to keep that onto the build plate itself, but one of my sides was loose, the other one was okay, so I'm kind of like 50-50 on that. However, when we get to the one where it's Stranula, and that's the one that we end up seeing here, is it took a little bit more finagling, and with that right there, so, you know, I did normal supports, I did 30% uh, infill with gyroid, and it worked out really well. So with that, I did have to take an X-Acto knife. I did have to shave uh, some of the model down on some of the areas so that way it would fit under uh, the little tab that comes out on the right side. That's the one thing I like about the Stranella is that it has the little clips and as long as you sand it down and it fits and snaps right in, it's going to be secure and you're not going to have to worry about, well, is this going to pop off because of the vibration of the K2 as it's printing? This is definitely the way to go. But you will have to do some minor adjustments to get it to fit. At least I did on mine. Maybe on yours, it'll just snap right in and you'll be good to go. Okay, so now that we finished up all the good stuff, let's wrap this video up. If you've got anything out of this that was useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Uh, if you want to contact me, there's my email address, and I 100% answer all of my emails. I, at least I'm good at that. Uh, with that, if you want to do me a solid, you could buy me a coffee. That's a link in the description box down below. But if you can't afford it, I totally get it. But it, please, at least like and subscribe to the channel. That would be the best thing that you could do. 
So with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up and do some cleaning. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.